Okay, it's about 6.30 in the morning, and I'm about to do the second session of target training with a clicker using a target stick. I'm working with a little foster dog named Finn, who we've had for just a few days. Uh, he is new to clicker training. Yesterday was his first exposure to target training. I actually recorded it for you, but I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> so this is his second session. The barking you hear in the background is my other dog, who is frustrated that he's not being trained. So um, I'm going to put the target stick down and get ready. I'm going to load myself up with treats. Now yesterday, Finn would not eat the kibble that I was trying to give him as treats. He wanted a higher value treat. Hang on, I'm going to go correct my dog. Sorry for that. Okay, I'm putting on a fanny pack so I have my treats right on me. And I've got two kinds of treats. I've got kibble and natural balance semi-moist food, which is what he's really about. Let me get my clicker ready. I need to have everything ready before I actually put this stick down because he might start targeting it right away. And if he does, I want to reward that right away. This leash was just for a placeholder while I put the camera in place. Okay. Let's see. Now, he's nice and hungry right now, so he is chasing the kibble. That was a higher value treat. I know it's harder for you to see, but if he even looks at the stick, oh, he's doing really well. Yesterday, he really did not seem to get it, and um, I was having to help him a lot. But the fact that he has slept now really helps. Sometimes having a little session where they, they can take a nap or they can sleep really improves the learning. That's true for humans, too, by the way. It allows the brain to process. Now, initially, I was really putting the treats right by that stick yesterday, glanced at it. But today, I'm tossing them further away to give him a chance to turn around and approach the stick again. And that tells me whether he is getting it. And also, um, kind of sets him up to approach the stick again. So the way you deliver the treat is significant. Oh, he touched it. Little, so he gets a higher value treat for that. The square things that you see me tossing are the higher value treats. He's standing over it. You get a higher value treat for that. Now, he's not even doing that consciously, but it doesn't matter. The fact that he's doing it earns him a treat. And then pretty soon his brain goes, oh, I get it. Now, the timing of the click is crucially important. You want to click exactly at the moment that his foot touches the stick, exactly at the moment that he looks at it. And then we, when we start, our criteria are really loose and generous. I mean, you, you kind of walk in the vicinity of the stick, and boom, you get a treat. You look at the stick, boom, you get a treat. But as he gets better at it, I'm going to require more. I'm going to require a distinct head turn. I'm going to require a distinct step towards it. 
but right now we're still in the very beginning stages and especially since he was so new to it yesterday and he's new to clicker training um, he's actually doing really well here he's standing over it see how he hovers around the stick more now even though I'm tossing the treats away that's a signal that he's understanding it and he's understanding it probably more on a subconscious level than a conscious level the reason I'm doing this is because sorry <laughs> this is a moment where I'm having trouble talking and doing this at the same time <coughs> the reason I'm training him to a target stick is because he's a short dog and, it, and he does not pull on leash he's a delightful little dog but um, it's nice to have a um, a short dog trained to a target stick when you want to teach them to heal oh he touched it I, I, my click was way late there sorry I'm having trouble talking and doing this at the same time mm -hmm. good job right walking right towards it looking at it I was a little late on that one So be quiet. Now sometimes when they stop like this, they're processing. And it's a good idea to give them a chance to just think about it and figure it out. But if, if they're standing there for too long, they run the risk. You couldn't see that if you looked at it. Toby, quiet. Sorry about the barking. I haven't overperforming shelter. Um, sometimes if you um, let them stand there too long trying to figure it out, they'll get distracted by something else and you'll lose them in the game. Now, he's hungry enough right now that he's accepting both the kibble and the high value treat. So I can use the high value treat as kind of an exclamation point when I'm praising with a click and a treat. Um, oh, he's really looking at it now. So if he's just looking at the stick, he gets a regular treat. If he does something more significant, like that, then he's going to get a good one, which I can't find at the moment. I'm sorry. Ooh, really, I just gave him a lower value one. I'm digging for a really good one here. <coughs> Big quiet toe. Bad barking toad. <laughs> so I was waiting then. He turned his head and was looking at my feet, and then he looked at the stick. He's standing over the stick. The nose is by the stick. The behavior I'm ultimately shaping is touching the stick with his nose. And ultimately, I want him to touch the end of the stick that has the blue tape. Good boy, that was really good. He's starting to get it. He's getting over it. He's getting lucky here because I'm throwing a treat right on it. Okay, I think we're going to quit because he's getting full, although he's doing quite well. I'm ending with a jackpot. Good boy. I'm picking up the stick. And then when we end a session, we want to let him know that he did a good job, that I'm not ending because he did anything bad. Because it's like ending the game. They want to keep training. But we want to end, you know, on a really high note. Look at you. Yeah. 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 So you just let them know that they're good, that this is the end of the session. And then you put it away, and then later, you bring it out for another five minutes and do it again. And you'll be surprised at how well they progress when you have short sessions, and you make sure that they end up on a positive note. Okay, over and out for now. That was session two with a clicker stick. By the way, this dog is available for adoption. 
um, and he's really wonderful and sweet. So he has his own blog, which is at adopt-finnegan.blogspot.com.